Are you with the shits? Because they are. They are. Straight out of the Bronx. It's Heidi, it's Heidi and, Lexi. and Lexi. And you are now tuned into Ladies Pitch. Here's your host, Heidi Baby. And Lexi, the motherfucking savage. 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 Hey, B. What up, what up, what up? What's up? How are you? I'm good. And yourself? I'm good. I'm good. I have a little question for you. What's Just up? A tad What's up small question. Right. Okay. So, if you can take two qualities, right? Mm-hmm. Two qualities from your last ex mm. and roll them over. <laughs> Roll them over <laughs> to your new ting, your new boo. What mm. two qualities would you choose? Um, I would say her, her hustle and like her hustle and drive when she put her mind to something, she she do it. Mm-hmm. So I would say that for one, and. Damn, the second one is a little tricky. <laughs> uh, I would say a hustle and drive and hey, can I just use those two? No, no, <laughs> Come on. Don't do me like that. Do you not want to nah, keep the qualities about her? No, no, no. I'm just I'm just being foolish and shit. She she was definitely she had great qualities. Um, I would say th- her intelligence. Okay. She was super super smart. Okay. To the point where sometimes I wanted to smack the shit out of her because. Because like, she sound like a know it all. Shut up! Yeah. What sign was she? Uh, Leo. Oh, Leo. Okay. Yeah. For me, I would say my last ex. I would say his. his loyalty he might be listening <laughs> i highly doubt hey. it he can't stand me so i highly yeah. doubt that he will stand the sound of my voice oh, um that's his loss thank you <laughs> no <laughs> his loyalty <laughs> and i think his he was very caring to be a man he was very caring and very uh nurturing weird to say but i don't find too many Uh, exactly yeah he was and i think it was um because he was raised around a lot of women he was extremely close to his mom he had older sisters very close with he was the baby Mm. so i think that that gave him that little pinch of like nurturing you know sounds like me in many ways raised by women even my brother being in the household, he was one of the sisters, he was my sister. Um, yeah. I was raised by women as well. Okay, so I'm nurturing. To an Are you? No. Oh, he's killing you. <laughs> I mean, I, I got the emotions, I guess. Like, Well, that also has to do with, let me bring my... A Scorpio. Being a water sign. Oh being a water sign we are highly emotional just we're on different levels of emotional yeah you know you guys are emotionally bulletproof but underneath that bulletproof vest man emotions, emotions. <laughs> <laughs> we like mozzarella sticks we tough and crunchy on the outside but man mushy on the inside yeah, exactly. <laughs> well anyway guys welcome to another bonus episode of potty yes. after dark yes, this yes, is your yes. girl, baby and this is your boy, Mr. Put the B in R and R and B, the wavy baby, the do rag daddy. As he does some, um, what is now legal, <laughs> what is now yes. legal. Uh, teens over yes, there. Yes, this on is the other very side. legal. You really set the mood though for this. Pardon me. Like potting after potting dark. after dark is how we doing it. I have the red um, LED lights too, but in my bedroom. Oh. Oh, so that's where it'd be going down. Heard it. That's where it's supposed to be going down. (laughs) (laughs) 
that's correct that we're supposed to be but uh, the magic is supposed to happen but got you got you that's the stage but you know no performance I mean, the performance is going on elsewhere. Actually, you know, it actually happened for me, but we we going to wait till the, the Savage and... Um, heard it, heard we, it. We going to wait for the Savage and the other one to be around so we can, we can get it lead to... So I'm not going to give you a round of applause. I'll give you some snaps. <laughs> but anywho, so what's been going on? Uh, how's your... Oh. Well, should I say your week? Your uh, day? What's been, what's new? Can't call any, this any any shit, different toilet. Oh. Um, nah. But. Any new, new fupas around? It was mad fupas out today. It was a beautiful day here in New York what? City. Oh, my God. These fupas was out. Tucked in them spandex. Love it. <laughs> it was, it was on full display today. Yeah. So, really quickly, I just want to show no merch. Ladies pitch drinking out of my Vita Creations oh, by that. the beautiful throw demon. Hit her up. Word. Interested. We'll get the link in the bio soon. Always. Always. So again, I think for every potting after dark episode, we're gonna drop this disclaimer. Like we did last time. Again, if you are e- easily irritated, highly offended, or just a sensitive ass bitch. Word. Please exit and just listen to other ladies pitch episodes where we're not sensitive much either. But you know, when you get do rag daddy just alone, shit gets crazy. So this this just might happen here today. So <laughs> all right. So where are we gonna start off? You wanna start off with the the clip that we were listening to earlier? Yeah, where Shorty was like wholeheartedly. Wholeheartedly. I did like that part too. All right. So this is actually a clip from the Gemini Scorpio pod. I, I love that name. I can't, I, I think I could kind of tell. This is the first time I hear of this podcast, but I think I could kind of tell who's the Gemini, who's the Scorpio there already. But this is from the Gemini Scorpio pod mm-hmm. and they had a guest there. Um, I'm not sure what her name was. Like, or oh, her name was Donnie. Donnie P. Okay. And this is what she said. That's how you want to be addressed. Okay, yes. cool. Perfect. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I don't agree with that. You don't? No. Oh, I'm sorry. Because you're supposed to be a, you, you're supposed to be addressed with respect regardless, period. Oh, so oh, even oh, respect, oh, no, it's not, nobody said no, not But no you saying, so just because somebody, dress how you want to be addressed. We talked about this on the phone. Mm-hmm. So if a, if, a, if a lady is on Instagram and she got all naked pictures, right? Mm-hmm. I'm supposed to address her sexually because she got all naked pictures? Wholeheartedly. No. <laughs> Nigga, what the fuck else? All I'm saying is, so are you I'm saying okay, so let me ask you this. If you go to a relative's page and you see all houses, you're going to ask that nigga, do you sell cars? <laughs> exactly. You're not, bro. I There's mean, no way. What do you think about that? Do you think um, that- I agree to. You agree? To an extent. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, no, no. I'm saying- my question to you, do you agree though? Do you think that you should um, approach women depending on, you know, what you see on their social media? So if you see a woman half naked all the time, only posting half naked things, you should approach her in that manner, in a sexual manner. Do you think that's right? All right. Yes and no. And this goes back to like maybe a couple of episodes of Ladies Pitch that we had. Go check out our uh, previous episodes of Ladies Pitch. That <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> that um damn lost my train of thought that. Oh um I wouldn't say a dresser in a sexual manner, but I would I I would say most of the time that the conversation is gonna lead to that sexual conversation real fast. I want to say approach it like jump in with a with a dick flick or anything of 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 those sorts, but like she's gone, uh, she's putting out content and gonna garner a certain certain, amount, certain attention. So okay. you're gonna you're gonna you as a female, I think you have to expect that kind of attention. So I'm not saying men should, 
approach with that. But that's logic, expected. But it, it would be expected because of you put out what you put out is what you get back. Okay, so I disagree. First things first. That's what I said to okay. to an extent. <laughs> I'm not saying, you know, I'm not saying jump in there with the swammy just, mm-hmm. or, you know what I mean? Like, don't do that. But, but I know if you put that type of content out there, you're going to get some kind of unwanted you're get, uh, attention. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, you're going to get some type of unwanted attention, yeah. which um, a, a lot of men think that that is the reason why it depends. Again, I want to say it depends on the content. It depends on if it's a page where she's actually promoting something, let's say like an OnlyFans, a lot of women that are promoting their OnlyFans page, they tend to include a lot of nudity, especially on Twitter, where the nudity is higher than it is on Instagram. Boy, and do I know. They have the, the clips of whatever Ooh. type of content they have on their OnlyFans page. So you do see that, um, mm-hmm. but I don't think that it's still the only reason why you would, you're always going to have this, the men that's going to go in and the first thing they send is, is, is a dick pic or, hey, I want to fuck or whatever it is. Right. It does happen, but um, I don't think that that should be, I don't think that that should be your first approach or that should only be the only type of conversation you're trying to carry with a female like that it's a sexual mm-hmm. conversation first things first if it's business like again like it's only fans me my opinion you should only contact me if it's about business that's it don't contact me i know i want to fuck don't contact me i know show me your dick now if it's a regular let's say uh like my instagram page and i might post like a thirst trap that's not an invitation and it has happened that's not an invitation for you to be sexual towards me because unless I'm specifically, specifically putting it towards you, I don't want that kind of, I don't want that kind of attention. I don't. And I don't do it for that kind of attention, regardless of what a lot of men might think. I don't do it so you could slide in my DMs. What happened? I mean, but you're going to attract whether you want it or not. You're going to attract, you know, a certain amount of that because that's just what it is. You know what I mean? Like, it's for me, too. Like, if I was to take a picture with my shirt off, like, I'm going to accept, I'm going to expect, like, at least three, four people to jump in with heart emojis and, oh, I want to lick you or whatever. Ooh, I, I, e, e. But, you know what I mean? But that's because of what I'm putting out. It may look sexual or it may look like a thirst trap. Or, but that's why I stopped doing those too because I, I was like, I'm garnering like attention from the wrong type of people. Mm-hmm. Even though I like the putties and you know, I like <laughs> I like the attention from the putties, but you know what I mean? Like I like the putas with a fupa and like good credit. <laughs> we'll be with a fupa and good credit and shit. good credit you know what I mean? but that kind of i feel like that goes hand in hand with the whole um concept that some men have and i want to say men because i'm mostly here and i'm sure there are women as well i'm not going to just outcast the men and say it's only them i'm sure there's a lot of women that say it too that you know if you walk down the street dressing a certain way or whatever and let's say something does happen to you you deserved it because you were dressed like that. And I have seen, I have men that I personally know have actually posted that on their social media. Or if she wouldn't have dressed like that, that wouldn't have happened to her or no. this and that. Do you, I, Okay, let me just take it back a bit. I don't know if you remember this. Do you remember years ago, um, the Puerto Rican parade, when men were randomly like throwing water at women, snatching water snatching their tops and shit. snatching their tops off because they were dressed, you know, with little skirts or the little bikini tops and all of that. Yeah. Like that's what I that to me feels like the same thing. It gives off the same like vibe, energy. No, I see like, what I you're saying. DM, and yeah, I can what... I can DM her and you know sexualize this it's conversation sexual. because of the content she's posting. To me, in my head, what comes up is, uh, yeah, I can grab her ass or touch her, or, you know what I'm saying? Because she's wearing yeah, a mini skirt down the street. 
That's how I t- nah, yeah, I hear you. I hear what you're saying. But that's why I say, too, it, it probably won't be on the approach. Like, but it's going to... It's gonna lead to that because of the only because of the content. It's different when you're saying someone walking down the street because there's no there's no reference to you know what I mean. It's just one time you're seeing this person walking down the street and you know, she might just feel salsa picante that day and she's wearing something revealing and you know what I mean. She's feeling herself or she may be going through something and that's making herself feel better and you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. So it's not you don't you ain't gonna. You're not gonna do the same thing you would do with jump in somebody's DM that's showing provocative pictures because you don't have to I guess the background and the the wherewithal to know I right, shorty's not like this or shorty's not like that. You know, she could just be wearing something. So that's why I say it won't probably be initially on the approach, but it'll get there. And different with with somebody walking down the street, like being that you don't know, you don't have any rapport or anything like that with that person, like you might play it a little different, you know. What I, you know what I mean? So I say it to say, like, all right, you have no if you have no rapport, or whatever, you're gonna approach it different because you don't know what it's like. This one on Instagram, you have this one. You can be like, oh, she takes nothing but this kind of. She wants this kind of attention, and I'm not saying in a bad way either i'm not saying in a sexual way but she just might want a certain kind of attention okay if you just post some like bathing suit pics in different islands or whatever i mean what else is there really to go on and your meals at night that you don't show the sugar daddy buying but you only show his hands what else, basically what else is there to go on and you're just basically giving me like a guidelines of how you live your life or a timeline, you know what I mean? Like your 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 timeline is basically how I'm judging what you shouldn't do, but I'm judging you on your timeline as opposed to just seeing you walking, seeing somebody walking down the street wearing something revealing. Yeah, mm-hmm. I understand. And a lot of dudes are fucking weirdos. Let's That's just let's get to say. that part too. Let like, me just say, let me just say that since Lexi and I have started this podcast the weirdo dms and messages Mm -hmm. crazy it is insane it is insane i I have the messages set up to where like you have to approve them you have to read the message before they can actually move to your inbox so they don't even know there's (laughs) (laughs) There's a list of like oof. there's a long list don't answer huh there's a long list of don't answers. There's a long list of don't answers. I don't know. There's a lot of like Indians on there and then old white men. I, I, I don't know. No offense. Shout out to everyone that listens to us from India because we got listeners. Word. But, I don't um, know what <laughs> Shout out. You know what I'm Shout out to to all my people, especially my white people. <laughs> I love you. I got a 7-Eleven right at the corner. But anyway, <laughs> um, <laughs> so let me ask you, let me just ask you another question. Um, All right. How would you feel or would you be able to deal with a female who constantly posts um, those type of like pictures, posts a lot of thirst traps or posts pictures where, you know, sexy pics? How yeah, would you that's how I gained her. Hmm? Yes, if that's how I gained her. Okay. Go a little bit more into that. Like if, if, if I acquired these assets, wow, you know. <laughs> Excuse me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, women are assets. You know what I mean? They have value to your life. They make you better. Anyways. Mm-hmm. We're beneficial. <laughs> yes, to life. Anyways, mm, okay. there you made me lose my train of thought again. What was I you saying? Said if what that's how, saying? if basically if that's how you backed her, then oh, all right, yeah, yeah. If that's how, if that's how I got her, then I'm, I can't change. I can't change that. I could voice that I don't agree with it, 
now that I'm in, in the picture and, the, you know, there might have to be some kind of uh, boundaries, but if she choose to be like, nigga, you got me doing this or whatever, I'm going to have to fall back somewhat because she's right. But that doesn't make my my feeling, you know, null and void. You still have to try to make some kind of compromise. Or if not, then I'm going to just, you know, have to get the road. fall back? Get the road, Jack. Really? Yeah. Yeah, because if I've seen that there's no compromise in the situation, I'm telling, I'm voicing myself on how I feel and how it makes me feel. And you just like, I'm, I'm about this coin. And then... You're not about me. What if she's not getting money? It's not about the bag. She's just posting. They're no, then you're going to have to simmer down, ma. You're going to have to relax. You have to put some sweatpants on and post some some, some of them pictures. No, because you know somewhere I mean? out have there to... is a woman that probably likes a woman in sweatpants. <laughs> yeah, nah, I, I love a woman in sweatpants. Like, I, I don't, you don't need to be all dressed up all the time for me, so. But what I'm saying is, it's like, nah, okay, you don't have to. <coughs> you, but basically, you, you don't like, like it. It's okay to say, listen, ma, put your motherfucking clothes on. Nah, but that's what I'm saying. You gotta activate your fucking account right now. I mean, I'll yeah. report I... your shit. But I'm not going to be that dude, though. Like, you know what I mean? I'm just going to give you that option, too. Like, you know what I mean? I'm going to tell I'm you not petty. I'll report your pics. Don't and post you, no fucking... I'm, don't post no pic and no shirt and no sweatpants. I'll report that shit as spam. Oh, that's the one that I'm going to get mad at and I'm going to lose my shit. I'm going to flip everything that's around me. Like, oh, so when I, when I told you to put on some sweatpants, you really want to put them on. Now, I don't give a fuck. You want to take pictures of sweatpants. Nah, uh, nah, we're going to... I'm flipping this whole shit. I'm talking about my dude posting pig with sweatpants and no shirt. Oh. Mm. I'm reporting that shit as spam. <laughs> offensive. <laughs> Nudity. This offends me. This picture <laughs> is highly <laughs> offensive. Delete, please. Sexual, sexual harassment. Exactly. It's enticing. <laughs> it is enticing other hoes. So look at my man and DM him. So please, chop, chop, get it out. Right. <laughs> well. So now, if I didn't meet, like, if this girl didn't, wasn't like that, that, and then I got with her, and then all of a sudden, like, she want to be America's top model type of shit, um, I'm not with that either. So either way is no and no. For me, no, yeah. You don't have to, and, and, and this, 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 there's a happy medium. You could, you could, there could be a certain amount of bathing suit pictures. There could be, you know what I mean? Like, because I'm not the guy either to, to be like, when I'm walking down the street with my girl and shit or whatever, and niggas look, I'm not the type to be like, oh, what the fuck y'all looking at? And this, and this. That just confirms to me that my, my shorty is like aesthetically pleasing to, to look at. So I'm, while I'm walking by, I'm going to slap on her ass while you look at her ass. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. And I'm going to look back at the nigga and be like, nice, right? <laughs> nice. Just confirms, you know, I'm doing good out here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, she's still look good. <laughs> Yeah, but you don't have you don't have to be too because I still have to have some type of type of of that's mine, you know what I mean? Some type of reservation where you know what I mean, like I know it's not for my eyes only because Instagram done seen it or whatever, but so but 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 make me feel like it's for my eyes only. You wanna feel I want to feel like I'm exclusive in, in your world. That's what I'm going to say right now. You wanna feel like you're the only one. I can see that, even though I'm not the only one that's seen that. Yeah. You just want the all around, you're the only one. In all ways that see her, that probably date her, that fuck her. You want to be the one. Even though, even though in your mind, you might have the slightest doubt. Doubt doesn't negate what what my Let me just, let me just, um, provide some pushback real quick and call you okay. a motherfucking hypocrite respectfully okay, okay? Right. How so? respectfully How so? because just knowing you the time that i know you if a female was to feel some type of way about the shit that you post and you don't post mm. their traps or anything like that but you're funny you're funny on Instagram, right? Okay. You're funny. funny. It captures a funny. <laughs> women are hee hee ha 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 ha, right? 
Shout out to nah, the, but you gave me funny cool. though, huh? You but you uh, you gained me funny. I okay. didn't just get funny. But check this out. But if you were to ha- get a girlfriend, let's just say, I can tell, and you can say you can tell me if I'm wrong. But if you were to get a girlfriend that was to feel some type of way about the shit that you post and the way you kiki, you would not change who the fuck you are for that female. It's a yo, take it or leave it type of deal. Am I right or am I wrong? It depends on how much I like the girl. Don't make it situational. <laughs> do not make it situational. All right. Don't do that. Overall, don't do that. All right, don't do that. Don't do that. We're not doing that. All right. Probably not. You know what I mean? Because, like I said, I, oh, I was I'm funny. Wrong? No, no. I'm saying probably not. I probably wouldn't change wouldn't. change anything because... That's who I was when you walked in the door. Exactly. So why can't you have the same, have that same energy for the female? Like I met her like I, that. I did. I said I could still voice myself. But you said it depends. Like, you you said it depends. Like if it's uh she's getting the bag with these pictures or with this. Pic. No, no, no. All right, we took the money out of it. We took the monetary gain out of out of out of the okay. the, the sexy pictures. Now you're just doing it because you want attention. Fine, cool. Right. I give you attention. I'm the only I'm one that should be fan. giving you attention. <laughs> you feel me? I, fuck your only fans. I'm your only fan. I'm your only fan. Word, but um, I'm not saying she she would still have the choice to do it if that's how I got her. Like she would, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't make it a a deal breaker. But now if you started doing it after we were already in something, and that's not what you was doing before. Now we have a problem. Now it's I right, like all right. Now you could change, or like go back to where I met <laughs> or, or not me or have a, a happy everything has to be showing your ass and your your tits and just your assets. <laughs> I'm just I, I just can't. I just wanted to I, I wanted to throw that part out there because I know kind of get a little bit I don't know your hundred percent <laughs> But I get the mm-hmm. feel of the type of person you might be in in a romantic situation. So that's why I say, like, Brian, mm, I can't even, yeah, like, harness the alert. You know what I'm saying? So I, I yeah. can see. <laughs> we like, what? You have snake on the gram on Twitter? Fuck out of yeah. here. And that's what I, I learned about myself as well, too. And I, I, I try to let people know that and that when it's in my life now or whatever, that I do this flirting thing that I don't know that I'm doing. And, or everything that I do just is, is just smooth like butter. So I just, like, can't really control it. I just, I'm just hyping it. Smooth but, like butter. Yeah, it's just parquet with it. But <laughs> I do it, and I don't, I don't really but know what I'm doing it. That's fine. I told you, I like my pussy, you know, high cholesterol and Hennessy. Mm. <laughs> um, so yeah, you keep making me lose my train of thought. Oh, it could be the weed, but what was I saying? Come on, you help me, help me. Tennis, knock it back. I don't play tennis. <laughs> corn, you don't need to do I either. This will be fucked. <laughs> anyway, we'll go on to the next one because. I'm like this or two, but anyway. Yeah, you're just providing the pushback, and I'm 50-50 with it. I'm not changing, and... Because I already know. I'm going to lose this argument. I don't expect to change. No. No, because you, 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 we 50-50 on it. It's like, yeah and no. Like I No, said, we before, are, because I kind of, yeah, I don't like to, for the most part, I respect my partner, and I'm not saying that women that post and have a man and whatever that's social media some men are okay with it some men are not uh for the most part i i respect my my partner for the most part like if he feels some type of way about me posting pics like that he all you have to do is mention it once if i give a fuck about you and i really don't want to like start an argument or fuel any type of fucking fire then i just won't do shit like that i'll just be like well whatever you know i'll compromise that but that's why i can kind of agree where where you say like yeah we kind of fall back and yeah. not really deal with a shorty like that but and yeah. women sure do know how to fuck up a good thing but 
Okay, <laughs> like what? <laughs> That's another topic for us. Do we? Day. Yeah, we both do, men and women, but that was me just throwing it straight. But <laughs> it's because we're not used to having nice things. And that goes back, that goes a little deeper than just you. And that's when I say you, I mean like uh, man. Man. That man. part that goes back to other shit. Yeah, I know. That's why I said that's another topic. That's another yeah, topic. Yeah, like that. For another that'll day. go for another one when we're mm-hmm. trying to be therapists. Just wanted to throw my stray off right there. Pow pow. <laughs> gonna insert a you know little gunshot right there. So speaking of OnlyFans, have you ever thought of creating an OnlyFans page? Several times. What has Several stopped you? Times. And I've been told to create a OnlyFans page. Mr. Parquet. Oh. <laughs> what has stopped you? I say, say Parquet. Um, not being able to fully protect my anonymity. Oh, all your and, tattoos? Yeah. But I mean, very, why did you don't difficult. have kids? I mean, we don't. You don't have kids. I mean, or anything. But, but once it's out there, it lives forever. So once it's on the internet. Yeah, once it's on the internet, there's no off of that. <laughs> okay, I can see that. Mm-hmm. But what if you were to do it with someone else? I mean, I would still have to try to protect my. You know what I mean? Uh, my so it has nothing to do with like future relationships or like family or anything like that. It just has to do with like. Uh, they all suck my dick from the back. Every single one of them. You know, I don't care about that. I just like, like if I wanted the future jobs or just like anything that could hinder my growth mm-hmm. in any way, shape, or form. And Hinder your growth. I mean, I'm not looking Very at very nice not, choice I'm of words. Gonna, yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna um <laughs> I'm not gonna fuck all that up just to get a couple of bucks on OnlyFans. But let's be real, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna be the top one percent. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, what if and that's started- also that's mad work too. Like that's a whole like you know what I mean? If you really want to monetize off of it, that's mad work. And I ain't got the time to be slinging all that dick. You know <laughs> it's like it's only so many times I can beat my meat a day. The, the shit word. Like, and I, that's another thing. How many times people going to want to see me beat my dick? How many different angles? But you can do, no, there are different a lot of different settings. things. Or get on a balcony somewhere in, in Dubai. and. I think there are a lot of different things that men can do. To, I mean, for an OnlyFans. I just feel like it gets old. Want to be creative. Yeah, and I'm not out here Jimmy Smacks and shit. So like, <laughs> I ain't know, I ain't about to do all that. You know what I mean? That's mad work. And salute to the the dudes that do like Safari out there doing it with his joint. That's pretty dope. Well, are they fucking though? They doing whatever they want to do. I yeah. don't know because I don't subscribe. You know what I mean? I want to put you- that out there too. <laughs> Have you ever have you ever subscribed to an OnlyFans? No, no. Well, I subscribe to it, but I'm like, let's be honest. Gotten, honestly, only thing I've gotten was free links. Free links, okay. Mm-hmm. You've never and this, is, and this like, is you ain't this. getting my motherfucking nine ninety nine a month, bitch. No, that's another bill. Like, yeah, it's bad enough. Netflix is up. Yeah. Mm-mm. And and just I, I just never feel like I don't like the idea of subscribing to. I just feel like paying for that pussy you is a little skeevy. Huh? Oh yeah, yes, pretty much. Paying like, for something that you can get for free. Like Pac said it best too. Like picture me pay for pussy when this takes for free. And, you know what I mean? Like, but that's when you know intercourse is happening or whatever. Of course, but I'm not gonna pay to see you naked. I could just like see someone else naked well i have since we're being transparent i have paid to see only friends not much but if it's somebody Mm -hmm. that like i'm really curious about or something that i've run across and it has to be somebody that i've been following or they Mm -hmm. post a really 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 good video preview i'm like a really good preview (laughs) and i'm like 
fuck who chose that preview. That shit is amazing. Like, I got to pay the $9.99. Yeah. And okay, I'm a I got to subscribe. But I need to subscribe because I need to see that one video. And I, I have felt victim to that shit. And I have. And I have subscribed. Just Trust to see me, that. I've been close. You, and when I got to put in the bank information, I'm like, mm, I don't really know. Well, you got to put the last yeah. two digits at the back because you're like, mm, yeah, I don't think I want to do that. I don't think right. I want to do this. Let me just go Let's to the Yeah, 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 yeah. Hopefully they got it. Not so long ago, a friend gave me um your mm-hmm. hundreds of links. Did you have that one? Oh, the, for the OnlyFans? Yeah, when they had the, the leak, the OnlyFans leak. Yes. They had all the links. That's when I subscribed. Yeah, but then you didn't need to. There were the leaks. Were. <laughs> Hello. I'm, I'm had them shit in alphabetical that order, my man. That was some work. Yeah. Like to I think how like, long they had this stuff. So they got to go through all of this shit, too. So they had their own personal spank bank. You know they got copies. You know they know. got copies. I don't know if they shut that link down, but I definitely they got did. some was in. They <laughs> did. But them hacks got all of that backed up. What everything that you everything that was like backed up from the damn beginning of the quarantine got released. Uh, if only if only fans were smart or whoever from only fans were smart, they 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 would have sent out a blast like yo, whoever's the one who did that or whatever, I got a job for you. <laughs> and now you secure them. my 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 shit so that don't happen again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's yo. That's crazy. You can imagine how some like well, some of them are anonymous. Yeah, of course, actually, but that's what I'm saying. You just yeah, throw out a blast, like yo, come forward. I got a job for you. Yeah, because a lot of women are creative. What I don't like has it happened to me because I said I always see like a preview. Always like, um, there has been some people that I've I've heard have said that they've subscribed to an OnlyFans page. And there's no fucking involved. They're just, <laughs> nah. they're just posting thirst traps. Nah, nah. And I heard about that too. And then they try to like get you in the messages to, to, to so that you could subscribe to, I guess, pay for more content. Yeah. So that's how they get you too to get the because they have the paid it. the paid messages. Yeah, so yeah. There you go. That's like I one. speak to your messages, but you gotta pay like. Well, I, and you set the price, like, oh, you know, uh, this is going to cost you, I'll send you this, but it's going to cost you $9.99 or $19.99, you know. Or what they'll do is that on their main page, they'll post a tease of like 30 seconds. Yep. Yeah, so then they'll inbox you, like, if you want to see the full five minutes of this video, you got to mm. pay me an extra mm. 10 bucks or, you know, yeah. whatever price they set for that particular content. But listen, they don't pay for it. It's a hustle. They will. That's what I'm saying. Men be like fucking the game up. Like, That's equivalent to women hustling men out here. Like, I've seen it with these two eyes. I've seen. True. I've seen the way women have hustled men, yo. And this is why I be the way I be. I'm like, I don't want to fall for your little Ponzi scheme, ma. <laughs> I've seen, seen this coming before, you know what I mean? Like, I don't knock them. I don't knock the females that do it, to be honest. I don't. I don't either. It's a hustle. Yeah, I don't. I mean, it's a hustle. If you fall for it, then you fall for it. Like Then you the sucker. That's you what I said. choices. We all have choices in life. If you choose to trick, then who the fuck am I? I ain't going to be like, no, papi, put your money away. Like, I got $12 for this drink. <laughs> No, you want to pay $12? You want to pay for drinks all night for me and my homegirls? The yeah, fuck I right. look like saying no. Maybe I didn't ask. I'm off. never going to ask. I got to, ooh, I got this little, I'll tell you off air because this, I, I don't want even want to put this out there because it's too good. Like, what? I don't want niggas fucking my shit up. Yeah. Nah, oh, man. You. Okay. It's a gem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a gem. Okay. So we'll talk about it on the yeah. sidelines. But, but yeah, I hear a lot of men like, oh, women this and, and women that. And they be using niggas for money and they be doing this. Who's doing it, though? Like, what I, and I'm going to tell you what I don't like because I don't want my words to be because words are so important. That's I don't a want fact. My words, 
<laughs> I don't want my words to be misconstrued like, oh, I'm, I'm saying it's okay to be a gold digger. No, whatever. It, it is what it is. What I don't like, and this is what I've actually witnessed, is women emotionally manipulating men in order to gain something out of it. So they mm-hmm. fake feelings, they fake emotions, they fake love to fake get you. Love. Yep. That I don't, that's not cool. That's not cool. That's not fucking cool. I legit seen a guy like fall for this girl so fucking hard. She didn't have, yo, she was playing him with mad dudes. No. She was playing him with mad dudes. He was taking care of her and her kid. Her and her kid. She was getting mad money out this dude. Oh my God. All types of shit. Yo, it was so bad that. What I've heard was that he contemplated suicide and everything. Like when he found out gonna... that. Mm-hmm. It was so bad. I was I was so like, oh my God, that's horrible. I that know. shit is not cool. That's not cool. That's not cool. But when you encounter a man, let's say at a bar or at a club, and just he thinks that it's cool to spread your little money in front of you for you and your homegirls because he's trying to impress you. You're an idiot, yeah. and I'm gonna jump on that opportunity, and then we'll be like, deuces, then the night. Yeah, but that's kind of morally wrong, too. Why? I mean, I don't, I'm not knocking you for it, and I'm not Why? saying, but it's morally real because maybe that dude just maybe feels like that's his only way to like gain your attention or gain your. That's why you're fucking up. Or to. Maybe. It is. You're it fucking is. up if you think that in that type of setting and behaving in that way is going to catch my attention. You're you're already starting off with the on the wrong foot because that's then there's not something how you're deeper gonna... than there's some. There might be something deeper there though. There might be something like they not good in social in social settings, but they, they trying to be in a social setting, and you know what I mean. They might feel like I. Right, so or, you would go or, to a bar and see a yeah, female that you probably to, or if, go ahead, my fault, go ahead, continue. And you would spot a female that you probably only want to fuck. So in order to impress her, you're gonna splurge money on her and her homegirls all night in hopes that she's gonna give you a little piece of pussy at the end of the night. A little piece of pussy, a little piece of pissy pussy. A little piece of pussy <laughs> at the end of the night? Nah, that's corny. Mm-hmm. And that's maybe corny. there's insecurities in himself did as oh, well. Then that's something, baby, that you got to take care of before you go out there and try to pick up women. But not really, though, because I, boom, there's been successful encounters where men go to bars, ugly men, or or <laughs> we call them the Wolf of Wall Streets. Shout out to my brother. He know who the Wolf of Wall Streets are. <laughs> um, And they go to bars and they try to get these women intoxicated so that they can eventually take them home and, and sleep with them. But and that this now you tell me if a some, man like that doesn't deserve there's a lack of yeah, but then there's just a lack of confidence there in him, and and that's not uh, that's not a, a total knock on him. Maybe he just doesn't feel cute, and maybe he knows he got a pocket full of money that make him look cute. Nah, you watering uh, you watering that shit down too much. No, no. Nah. Watering that shit down instead of just saying that shit is lame. I'm just saying it is lame. I'm not I listen, I I'll let I let a bitch dehydrate at the bar and you know I mean before I buy her a drink or whatever because you came there with a pocket full of money, you ain't come there broke, so you know what I mean, earn your drink basically with me. Oh gosh. Like earn your drink. You gotta earn it because then you see, but then you then you'll be like, oh, but he's a lame because he's buying you drinks all night. And you see what I mean, though. I'm not saying he's a lame. So he's I buying me drinks all night. From I'm saying that that you're trying to. I can get sometimes. Okay, I'm, I'm trying all to. Right, hold that. Hold that thought real fast. All right, gain your thought now. That one person I did it with, she's a lame brain. I gotta move on now. I gotta go buy another person to drink and find out she's a lame brain. I gotta move on. I gotta buy another girl a drink. Just to be cool too. And then if I like this girl, I can continue buying her drinks all night. Doesn't sound right. Doesn't add up to me. You know what I mean? Like, 
Let me find out you have a brain. Let me find out, you know what I mean? You're, you're successful a little bit or, you know, maybe not successful, but at least you have something going for yourself. Let I me get shit together. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because I'm not going to be the thirsty nigga buying, I'm not going to be the lame dude buying several women drinks all night because I'm trying to find whatever I'm, I'm looking for that night or whatever. So the guy that's doing it is pretty much doing the same thing. They just doing it at a, a higher rate because they got a deeper pocket. But I think that we're talking about two totally different types of men that go to uh, the bar scene or the club scene and behave that way. I'm talking about the guy. I mean, count to these, the big talker going in there again because he's probably used to getting women with okay. just going in there and showing that he got money. That's all you got to do. Go in there and show that you got a little bit of money. You could buy a bottle. So you know how many bitches that pussy get wet just to see that you could buy just... two many bottles? <laughs> what? I see bitches ready to like show their titties to go into VIP just because they seen a guy freaking cop two or three bottles at the club. Like, that's corny. That's corny. So if you come in there with that behavior, like, Oh yeah, um, I want to talk to you, but I'm gonna I'm buy you drinks. If there's interest there, I'm not. First of all, I'm not gonna want to be getting fucked up to try to get to know you. Intoxicated. Yeah, I hear that. And that's not just that's not the type of setting for me to get to know anybody. Like I would never go on a date to somebody with somebody on a club in a bar to get to know you yeah, better. Yeah. Like you no, know what I'm saying? Be like a first encounter type of situation. Yeah, right. So let's see how we vibe here. Let's see if you could dance. Let's see if you could, you know. You got a nice swag to you where I'm like intrigued where I will actually go on a legit date with you, you know? Or leave the spot with you. <laughs> nah, I've never left the spot with anybody. When are you hypo- hypothetically? Oh, hypothetically speaking, I'm like, yeah, I've, I've yeah, never yeah, yeah. one night stands in my life. And I, I've said that before. I feel on Let's give a round of applause for that again. I've said this because I'm not attracted to you just by visually looking at you. It gotta be more. But um, yeah, so you have those men that big ballers or just big talkers, and they go in there and they're like, Oh, I could buy you and your homegirls because I wanna impress you or get you drunk. So and then I can probably try to get a piece of pussy. Like, I'm sorry, you deserve to get. You deserve to get played. You deserve to get played. <laughs> for that night. For that night. Right. Yeah, you played the game wrong. For that. But then yeah. there's a lot of guys too that just willing to take that L. So the, like I said, them pockets be deep, so um, it don't even be an L to them. That's why you could tell the ones that do it because they're just socially awkward, and the ones that yeah. do it because they do it because they're used to it, and, and they got money to splurge out. and. Yeah, those corny. Yeah, you right. Those, those are the ones I'm talking about. Yeah, and is it off air? I'm gonna tell you about those guys too. It's a, ooh, it's a whole system we got set up. <laughs> it's a whole system. Jesus. Are we gonna eventually uh, talk about it on here? Um, eventually, probably. I give some of the. You got like some something going? On. I mean, I don't know much about sports. Shout out to Lexi and. Word. Um, Shout out to Lexi and <laughs> throw sports <demon>. fanatics. <laughs> Right. And throw demon, yeah. But um, is it like the the what, what was it called? The triangle? Is it something yeah. like that? Yeah, yes, yes, it is. I figured that it's, when you said you have a whole setup, I'm like, is it like it's a system a triangle Ooh, situation? Very success, high successful rate, like through the roof. You got rings? Ooh, Kobe. I can't. <laughs> I Hall of Fame. I always wondered what was men's strategy. I've gone out with guys. There was a time where I used to go out clubbing with my brother and his friends all the time. We were together all the time clubbing. And one of his friends actually used to always call me a good luck charm because he used to come out with me all the time. (laughs) And he was always bagging something. Always. So he knew I was going out. He was like, yo, I'm coming because I always bag something like when I'm with you and shit. But Um, and that go with women attract women right but it was never really like my friends it was, i don't know what it was i don't know what it was but he mm-hmm. always was yeah something um, about that i noticed that yeah. too when i like I grow friend, female friends with, with me to the to the spot like it draws more females around and now the the options are mm-hmm 
But I, I'm thinking about like men and their strategy, like what type of strategy they have when they hit the club, the bar, like what do they do? To me, I'm going to tell you what I like, what would intrigue me or kind of, I don't really like to, like I said, talking to too many guys in a you know, bar, club, whatever, but yeah. um, what I would like, I would personally like and what attract me is if a guy is very subtle. So like, if you send me a drink, if you send me a drink, but don't follow up with me after you send me the drink, swaggy. I'm going to be like, mm, that's swaggy. Why is he not trying to talk to me? Yeah, I've dead done that. Or I send a drink and then I'll go dance with somebody else. Unless I'm not feeling it that night. I'm just there really just to clear my head not to entertain or socialize with anyone like that. Yeah. Then I really don't wouldn't be mind to it. Yeah, I won't do it too often, but like if it's like a, a I don't give a fucking type of night or whatever and see something some nice drink, I'm just going to be like send the drink and I'll test my options that way or whatever. Instead of being the thirsty, the 17th nigga to come up to her and ah, 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 ah. And I got a little bit of an advantage. I like to dance. I'm a good dancer. So not a lot of niggas that can fuck with me on the dance floor. You that's a, yo, that's <laughs> a very, that is a very big advantage. Let me tell you. That's yeah, a very yeah. big advantage. I knew a guy that was like that. We used to call him Happy Feet because he was always, yo, this man everywhere. Family functions. We went to the club maybe like two or three times like with my ex-boyfriend. He would be from when we get there to when we leave if the, the place is about to close the lights come on last call he is still dancing yeah i've been that i've been i've been him yeah and he would be doing that where he's like dancing with one woman and then he go like today he's dancing with both of them and i'm like yo he doesn't stop wow. he will end up with a female he'll end up with a female like women like that because we kind of <laughs> we kind of put it together like if you're good if you're a good dancer then you can fuck if there's rhythm there's rhythm if there's rhythm he got a knee stroke that's a, there you go there you go yeah that's what it is if you can you dance heard. then <laughs> you heard <laughs> yeah mm-hmm yeah, hey, look at um Patrick Swayze and Dirty Dancing. You saw that girl looking at him like, "Good guy, he moved them hips." <laughs> That's movie, right. By the way, That's your favorite movie? That's one. Yeah, how's yeah? Heard it's top two, and it ain't number two. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> that I heard up. Movie. But yeah, oh, man. That was so you never really that's crazy though. Like to, to hear that what you never like left the spot. And I didn't even have to be anything like to leave the spot to because I've left the spot a couple times for shorty that I came came back to the crib to smoke chill then we ain't, we ain't do nothing, but no, I've done I did that. So I've that's, done what that. Well, that's what I'm saying. You that's I don't never mean, by myself really though. leave the spot meaning to go do the weekend. No, never by myself. It'll always be like I'm with um when I was with my my homegirl, we did it a few times. It was never for sex. Um, we'll go hang out on the spa or go um to like the diner. Um, I I ran into one of um, you know, because clearly I work at a hospital, or whatever. So I I was at this bar with my friend, and I ran into this, this a friend, the paramedic dude, and um, he was there like with his family, some friends or whatever. And it just so happened that his homeboy lived around the corner from me. I met his homeboy for the first time that night. And we left from there. We went to like his spot and we drank some more. And, you know, we were hanging out and shit like that. But I knew the guy prior. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it was yeah, not anything yeah, like we were leaving to go hook up and shit like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Actually, I, mean, I actually had a crush on him. So I was like, I want to chill with him. I already had a crush on him. Just so happened, Aww. I saw him at the bar setting. And I was Aww. like, right, there's an opportunity to chill with him a little bit more and talk to him. But then, nah, nothing came out of it. I was like, hmm. 
because in that conversation yeah. he mentioned that he was talking to somebody or whatever and yeah. i was like oh hmm, bah. Gotcha, gotcha. yeah but but to leave a bar or a club with a guy purely for sexual reasons by myself yeah. never gotta live life on the edge hmm you gotta live life on the edge not da- not dangerously, like I don't <laughs> on the edge, not dangerously on the edge, my man's. I hear you, I hear you, I hear you. I go to the cliff a little bit, the edge of the cliff, but then I come back. I don't just or be like not nah, that's far. Yeah, I'm back. not looking, I'm not looking over or like tiptoeing <laughs> on the side of the cliff and shit. I hear that. So let's go back to the only fast thing real fast too, because I meant to ask you a question back then about that. Shoot. Now Let's say the man that you're interested in is King Dingaling on OnlyFans. What's the problem? You still fucking with it? I don't know. You still yeah. fucking with it? Like you, you, but he's like slaying, slaying joints. He's not just whacking his monkey. He's out there like, I'm, yeah, because more mean? than likely I'll be on there too with him. All right, that's what's up. I'll probably be videotaping some stuff. Listen, again, what I don't like is betrayal. Shit being done behind my back. If I'm aware of it, if I could be a part of it, if we open about it, I am with the shits. I'm with it. I'm with the shits. Yeah, Yeah, I'm with it. Like, yo, oh, you know, uh, I meet you. We like each other. Let's just say after there's feelings there whatever you'd be like yo um i have only fans whatever this and that if i give a fuck about you and you 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 know what i'm saying you mad cool and i like you and i really fucks with you mm. you'd be like yo mine yo let's do this like we me and you it could be you it could be just me it could be me and her like, however you want to do it i like that that's what's up that's and, and get this money I can respect that. always money in the sex industry <laughs> Word up. Never go broke. It's yo, that's a, the business is booming. Business is booming. Right? Lexi sent me something like that today. I gotta send it to you. <laughs> and yeah, she, she sent it to me too, I think. She sent it to you too? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That is funny. But I will be with it. I don't mm-hmm. I don't mm-hmm. knock it. Let me not you find ever, out like, with you. charge somebody. Huh? Um, now I'm bouncing everywhere though, but would you ever charge somebody to have sex with you? No. No? Nah? Like, let's say Viejo, who's not a bad looking Viejo, and he's like, he paying the rent for the month. No? Nah? I'd rather hustle myself, however I could get it. Yeah. Just not, not, I'm not we're pro sex workers on here. Mm. I don't knock. However, you get it. That's Word. not my choice. Word. I ain't paying for the pussy job, either. Get a third job. I'll start an OnlyFans. I I will not. I will not sell sex to anyone. Fair enough. Fair I just enough. won't. It's fair just enough. not because for me to have sex with you again. If I if I fuck you, I like you. There's no, I'm just fucking you just to, for the fun of it. That's why I always need more. More. He needs more. more. <laughs> I hear you, I hear you. Just not, yeah, I'm just not set up like that. Like, Trust me, sometimes it's a gift and a curse because sometimes I want to be able to just get my rocks off and not give, well, fuck. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm not I mean, you can. Fuck. I can absolutely, and believe it or not, oh, I now you can reach that point sometimes. But then that's when I realize that I can't because I'm not gonna give you my best, and that's how you're gonna know. That's how you're gonna know that something is off with me when the sex is like, mm, mm, nope. Mm. she ain't doing this she's not being spontaneous she don't want to do this anymore she's saying no she don't want to have sex as much that's when you know something's wrong with me like 
I'm not attracted to you anymore. Um, nah. I hear that. I hear that. Mm-hmm. So. I should sell. I should. I should. Well, past tense. I should have like sold some dick. Like, I should have packaged that up in like little, little ten bag, ten dollar bags. Like yo, ten dollar bag of dicks here. Yeah. Like. <laughs> You got you got bitches being wand out here, like yo. You got you got scratching. You got any more? Any more dick? <laughs> you got you got that dick you gave me last time. <laughs> like I just need like right here, right here. Yeah, no, I should have. No, Nothing crazy. I, sh- I should have, but I never, I never did that either. Mhm. But I had to look at myself in the mirror and be like, damn, like, who better than that? Mm-hmm. Even though if I was a girl, whoo, I'd be out of here. I'd be fucking me a soccer player with the worst soccer player that's on the worst what, team. That's what um a lot of men say, right? This is why men kill me sometimes with, um, oh, I'm not driven by pussy and this and this and that. Because the first thing out of a lot of men's mouth is if I had a pussy, I would be out there fucking this dude, monetizing off my pussy, which that tells me that you know the value that pussy yeah. has. It's a hot commodity. Correct, right? <laughs> yes. You know the value that pussy has. So yeah. then why do you continue to treat it like it's just another piece of meat? It ain't shit. Because there's an abundance of it. It don't matter. It don't matter if there's an abundance. It still has value. If you have an abundance oh, that has no value, then it's just like, eh. If I can have an b- abundance of shit that's worth a lot of fucking money, best believe I want it. True. Very true. <laughs> so when I hear men say that, true. it kills me. The same men that say, like, pussy ain't shit, or women ain't the prize, or I mean, women in the price statement, it goes beyond just sex. But, you know, when they talk about pussy and pussy this, I'm not driven by pussy or I'm not this by pussy. But you're the same one that would be out there dotting and bopping if you had a pussy. That's a fact. I mean, I done did dotting and bopping with a dick. So, <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm just saying, I think I would have got a little further if I had a vagina because I know how valuable a vagina is and I know how to monetize off of that. Even though I never done it with my dick. But I'm just saying I probably would have with my vagina because I know I could make more moves and get to where I need to go and you know what I mean? Okay. Caso cerrado then in that case. <laughs> So, anything else you want to bring up on this episode? Um, Before we close the wolf? Fellas, just know that a lot of you are high-value men. <laughs> oh. oh, shit. I'm just messing with y'all. Yeah, there a are lot, a lot of high-value pe- men. Yeah, they are, but a lot of them are piece of shits. And you know what I mean? Like, so to the piece of shits, put the shit together. Get your shit together. Put the shits together. The pieces of shit that you are, put it together. And make one piece of shit high value. One, one, one big piece of shit that, you know, that's that somebody, what, that a female just wants to fly around and land on and, and nest. Oh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, and women, y'all need to suck dick more often, and this is how we giving it up on the end of this episode. You know what I'm saying? So let's let's be nice. Shout out to all the kings, the high value men, the men that Word. have a lot to offer, and um, you know, that bring more to the table than just good dick. Word. Shout out to y'all. Right. Shout out to y'all. Keep doing y'all thing. Appreciate you. Yeah, your piece doing. of shit will come. <laughs> anyway, on that note. Uh, I don't have anything to say. End it. Just, I just did. Anyway, this is your girl, Haiti Baby, signing the fuck out. And this is the do rag daddy getting the fuck out of here. And we catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Deuces.
Thanks for vibing out with Ladies Pitch. Be sure to subscribe to the podcast on all streaming platforms. Follow us on Instagram at Ladies Pitch and on Twitter at Pitch718. Be sure to stay safe and say no to the fuckboys. See you next week.